गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इनिशिएशन ऑफ रेप्लिकेशन ऑफ प्रोकैरियट्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो डीएनए रेप्लिकेशन बिगिंस एट अ स्पेसिफिक साइट दैट इज ओरिजिन ऑफ रेप्लिकेशन और यू कैन से ओडीसी दिस इज अ सिंगल साइट Odyssey is composed of four nine mar and three thirteen mar sites. Now, one nine mar site contains nine base pair sequence. In this way, four such nine mar sites are present, and one thirteen mar site contains thirteen base pair sequence. In this way. Three such thirteen mar sites are present, and this whole portion is called ODC, where replication begins. Okay. Now DNA A ATP protein binds to the nine mar site, and it leads to the strand separation within the thirteen mar site, just like this. so replication bubble gets created over here after the strand separation okay uh dna b and dna c associate with the dna a bound region now dna b is dna helicase this one and dna c is dna helicase loader this green one and they associate with the dna a bound region this red one is dna a right okay now dna helicase loader catalyzes the placement of dna helicase around the single stranded dna and here you can see this is the replication fork so replication forks are generated in both side right this structure resembles a fork hence named so now loading of the dna helicase leads to the dissociation of the helicase loader so helicase loader is removed and i have already told that replication forks are formed the helicase recruits a dna primase this one which synthesizes an rna primer on each template so here is one rna primer here is the other rna primer dna a gets removed from the site now sliding clamps are assembled on each rna primer this is the sliding clamp this green one and the sliding clamp binds to the dna polymerase 3 and tethers it to the dna template preventing it from dissociating so actually sliding clamp acts like a hook which holds dna polymerase 3 tightly so that it doesn't slip from the dna template okay dna polymerase 3 can now extend the primer rna primer adding nucleotides one by one that are complementary to the template strand so this dna polymerase 3 will extend this rna primer now here is a note the dna is coated by the single strand binding proteins around the replication fork to prevent rewinding of dna so basically here once replication fork gets generated some single stranded binding proteins come to attach the dna so that recently separated dna strands don't get scope to rewind and dna gyrase that is the topo isomerase it prevents the super coiling of dna so topo isomerases are some enzymes that release the tension in dna strands 
during DNA replication and make them relaxed. So topoisomerase or DNA guidase in this case is also used. So this is all about the initiation of prokaryotic replication. Next day we will talk about the elongation and termination of prokaryotic replication. Hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.